Good morning and welcome to today's news conference with NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei. Mark is scheduled to launch to the International Space Station from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on April 9th aboard at the Soyuz spacecraft. He will launch with his crewmates Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov of the Russian space agency Roscosmos. Mark will be a flight engineer and a member of Expedition 64-65 crew. He was selected as an astronaut in 2009, and he completed his first space flight in 2018 as part of Expedition 53 and 54 aboard the International Space Station. He spent 168 days in space and completed four spacewalks. Mark is a retired colonel in the U.S. Army and has physics degrees from St. John's University in Minnesota, as well as Stanford University in California. Now we'll pass it over to Mark for some opening remarks, and then we'll take questions. For media on the phone, please press star one if you have a question and star two to withdraw your question if it's already been asked. So now we'll go over to Mark. How are you feeling about your upcoming mission? Hey, Megan, thanks a lot for the question. I am really, really excited. I've uh, been training for as a backup for Kate Rubin's launch last, back in October. Um, and just as a contingency, I was training for this just in case it got finalized and I'm super happy that it did and I'm feeling very ready to go. That is great to hear. Okay, now we'll take some questions from the media. Let's start with Joey Roulette with The Verge. Um, so this flight was arranged uh, pretty in the last minute, uh, which is kind of unusual, I think, for, for NASA's uh, Soyuz missions. And I was wondering how your training has been and, and when did you first find out that you actually got this assignment that you're gonna fly? Thanks. Uh, this is kind of a funny story, but I found out the same time I think everybody else did. One of my high school friends told my wife that there was a Twitter announcement that say, said it was finalized. Of course, the only reason that happened was because it was the middle of the night, I was sound asleep. Otherwise, I'm sure I would have found out earlier. I didn't look at my email until later. Um, I, again, I was just super happy. It was something that had been in the works for months, trying to make it happen. Lots of challenges and people worked super hard to get it actually finalized. But that entire time, regardless, uh, I, as a member of uh, uh, really four people, because we weren't sure if uh, the Russian that I replaced, Sergei Korsakov or I, were going to be flying, all four of us were training for that spacecraft with only three seats in it. So we were ready for whatever contingency we needed to do. And uh, that's how we ended up today, ready to go.